Hey fam, what's going on? This is I Love Me, 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 and welcome to my love room. Um, today I just want to start something off a little bit differently because I would like to give a shout out to Beautiful Monster who sponsored this beautiful t-shirt. It's 100% cotton. I love it. I love all of the little characters on the back. Let me make sure you can see the logo on the back. Say Beautiful Monster. And I want to give a shout out to him for sponsoring this t-shirt. I love it. Anytime I wear his clothing, um, I always get asked, why, where did you um, get that t-shirt? I would love to have natural um, uh, na natural logos on the t-shirts that I would love to wear. So shout out to him. It's a black-owned business. Go out and support the black-owned business. I will put his information in the description box, his um, website directly to his store. And then also you guys can follow him on Instagram. It's um, beautifulmonster350. I will put all of that information in the description box. So let's get started. The last video focused on how to have a great date. And that was the first part of the series. This, this video is the second part of the series, and it is titled, Why Your Representative Should Not Be on Your Date. Again, that's why your representative, representative should not be on your date. So first of all, what is your representative? Your representative is um, your persona or the person that you're pretending to be in order to win over your date. Um, it is where you're not showing any of your flaws, you're not showing any of your weaknesses, and you are basically going along with the program in order to win that person over. So um, you're not disclosing anything that you necessarily like to do while you're in a relationship or just why you like to do, do, period. And so you are going along with his program in order to win him over to make him fall for you. So why do we do this? And why is it bad to do? So first of all, simply put, we um, show our representative because we are not 100% comfortable with who we are. We are not 100% confident in who we are. And we are not totally secure with who we are as individuals and uh, what we bring to the table and what our total worth is. So that's why we do it. We want to win the person over. Um, a lot of people hate being single, and so they just kind of go along with the program in order to win this person over so they could be in a relationship. So, for instance, um, you're out. You meet this guy. Obviously, well, I'm speaking about a woman and a guy. So, you're out. You meet this guy. You guys um, are, are flowing with the conversation, flirting a little bit, and you guys exchange numbers. So then you, you guys talk on the phone, you're seeing what's up with each other, you're noticing that the vibe, you're vibing, you're doing well, laughing and joking, and you guys decide to meet up on a date. Now on the date, and just throughout the course of you guys talking for the past few days, getting to know one another, you pretty much find out that this guy is what you consider to be a great catch. And um, he might have his he might have a home or a condo. He might have his finances in order. Um, he might want a family. Um, his career is intact. He is pretty much uh, overall well, uh, a well-rounded individual. He's traveled some, and um, he uh, has his faith in order. Again, he's a really great catch, as as you see that he's being a great catch. So you guys are laughing and vibing on this joke. On this um, on this joke, <laughs> you guys are laughing and vibing on this date. And um, he moves on to his hobbies and what he is interested in. And most of his hobbies and what he, where he connects with himself is actually outdoorsy. He loves to do outdoorsy things such as sailing, hiking, biking, camping, anything outdoorsy is where he feels uh, the most of himself. He feels um, at home outdoors. He might do some things inside, like he might like arts and the theater and um, wine tasting, for example. So you, the woman, is just going along with this program because you don't want to miss out on this great date. And the reason why I say that is because you are not revealing anything about yourself, which is you're not the outdoorsy type. <laughs> You would rather um, be at home with your boo, hugged up and cuddled, watching TV, maybe having some wine at the house. 
and maybe your hobbies are reading books. Just very, very simplistic things, but outdoorsy is not your thing. And so this is going to be a conflict um, later on. And this is just an example. This is an example for women, but men do this as well. So anyway, you guys are moving on and you are going along with the program. You are starting out to do all of these things that he loves to do. Again, your representative. Your representative is showing up and showing out right here. You would, you are doing everything. You're, um, you, you might enjoy some of these things, but still you're not passionate about them. So um, as time goes on, you know, you're, you're slowly but surely not wanting to persist participate in any of these activities so let's say a few months go by maybe maybe even up to a year and you are tired of presenting your representative to him and he is trying to figure out what is going on how come you don't want to do like the sailing hiking and biking anymore and it's because you never conveyed the information that you are actually more of a homebody who likes to cuddle and read versus doing all of this extra stuff so now that you have that's real to men. You real to men, and you've gotten him to like you and want to be around you. Now, your mask is coming off. Speaking of, um, I actually read an article um, not too long ago by Lisa Daly. I will put her information in the description box. But within her, within that article, she made mention that most breakups occur between months three and five, and the reason is because the real you starts to seep through and the mask, i.e. the representative, starts to slowly dissipate or go away. So the the real you is starting to show up after months, maybe even up to a year. Some people can hold on to their mask long, longer than others, but eventually your mask still comes off. No one can um, um, put up with that, not put up with it, I'm sorry, no one can keep themselves covered and hidden their entire life. Eventually it's going to come out. So there is no reason for you to show up on your date and present this representative. We have to be bold enough and courageous enough to show up and be ourselves. And if you and that person do not click, maybe you're better off as friends versus trying to be lovers because eventually something is going to start to break the relationship down. The guy in the example above, so now he's continuing on. He's still um, continuing to do all the things that he's passionate about. And maybe he's not doing it with you anymore because, like I said, you are a homebody and you'd rather be on the couch. So now he's not doing it with you anymore. And maybe he's going out there and maybe he's connecting with a new woman who's actually out there doing these exact same things. And not that he's necessarily going out to cheat on you, but maybe, it's, it, maybe it goes down that road because you eventually lied. Uh, you initially lied. I'm sorry. Um, or maybe he's just more and more sp uh, spending more and more time with his boys. He just doesn't want to hang out with you any longer. He's doing anything not to be in your presence any longer. And this is when the communication starts to break down. You guys are not connecting emotionally. You're not spending as much time together. And eventually the inevitable happens, which is the breakup. So with this information, why not just leave your representative home in that little box with the lock and key on it and go out to the world, show the world that you are you and you either accept me for who I am or you don't. You're either going to click with somebody or you're not. So if you click with them, absolutely great. If you don't click with, click with them, then that's fine too. On to the next one. There's so many fish in the sea. That's, that's an old tale, but it's so true. So many fish in the sea. So go out there and be courageous enough to be yourself. And also, do not make ego-based decisions. And what are those? They are the decisions that we make based off of fear, status-oriented, and territorial. And the example above, it was based off his status. She failed for him based off his status. So she was just being selfish. And inevitably, the relationship broke down. Now, this just that's just one of the many reasons that a relationship could break down. There are a plethora of them. But um, why not just try to eliminate as many things in the beginning or prior to the relationship starting so you don't necessarily have to worry about that being the one thing that made your relationship go downhill. So, um, 
Go out there and be courageous enough to be yourself. Show up and show out as yourself. And don't let your representative show up and show out. So go out there and have great dates as yourself. And your mate will appear. Your mate will appear. All right? So now, what do you guys think? What do you think? I'm curious. I want to read your comments in the description box below. Um, have you dated someone that was representing their... Um, or presenting, I should say, their representative to you. What happened? How long did the relationship last? Are you guys still together? Did you get over the hump? Please um, share your story with us. We would love to read it. I definitely would love to read it and comment. And um, don't forget to like if you agree with this video. And um, also thumbs up if you want to hear more of my thought-provoking content. If you have not subscribed, definitely subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and share my content on um, all of the social media. And I will see you guys in the next video. Two finger salutes. Be yourself.